Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and I'm glad you're here. So today I have a fun and easy tutorial to share with you using some basic supply. I will show you how to decorate your candle with napkins. So let's get started. Here I have a pillow candle and I also have this beautiful napkin, 20 napkin in, in the bag to apply tissue with water-based ink but you can use any printed napkin that you may have. I really love the images of the napkin but for my candle today I just want the four pieces. First I'm cutting roughly around the pieces that I might want on my candle. When all the pieces are roughly cut, now I can use my scissors to trim it up nicely around, closer to the flower edges. Once I have my floral image nicely cut, I can use my poppy tool to carefully separate the second layer of the napkin. You can also use a pin to separate the layer. I repeat the same step with the other pieces and for the leftover pieces I put them back in the packet to save them for um, other projects. Now using a glue stick I will go ahead and temporarily attach the floral pieces on the candle. I carefully uh, rub the glue stick on the edges of my image and stick them to my candle. I found that the glue stick helped to keep all these little pieces flat on my candle but if you have only one uh, large image I guess you can skip the glue stick. Once all the pieces uh, temporarily attach uh, to the candle, I will use some grease uh, proof paper that I use for baking and a heat source to attach the napkin permanently uh, to my candle. I wrap the candle with the grease proof paper. And as you can see, I cut the grease proof paper bigger than the candle so that I can hold the candle without burning my hand when I will apply the heat. For the heat source, I'm using my heat gun, but if you don't have one, you can use a hairdryer instead. The hairdryer will take longer to melt the images in the candle, but it will work. So I heat um, my heat gun for a couple of seconds before applying the heat to my candle to melt it faster. As you can see, the grease proof paper will start to look wet as the candle is melting. So I don't uh, let the heat on this wet spot longer. I just move on to the next uh, image, but I make sure that all the image edges are melt properly. And before removing the paper while it's still warm, I rub the candle just to smooth the candle surface. When I removed the paper, I was so happy this candle looks so beautiful. I was pretty impressed with the result. So this was my little project for today, I really hope that you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more crafty projects. Thank you for watching, see you soon, bye!